This meeting is now open. The Rules Committee meeting is open. Good morning and thank you for attending this hearing of the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections. My name is Karen Koslowitz and I am honored to chair this committee. Before we begin, I would like to introduce Rules Committee Council members and other members who have joined us today. I will start by introducing the Rules Committee members. First, we are very pleased to be joined. The speaker will be here in a, a few minutes. Council Member Adrian Adams, Council Member Margaret Chin, Council Member Raphael Espinal, Council Member Vanessa Gibson, Council Member Mark Traeger. Did you leave anybody out? No. Okay. I would also like to acknowledge Rules and Council Member Matteo has just joined us also. I would, I would also like to acknowledge Rules Committee Council of Elizabeth Guzman and our Chief Compliance Officer Chuck Davis. Today, the Rules Committee will consider a resolution to recommend to the Council body certain proposed changes to the rules of the Council. The proposed changes include adding a rule concerning procurement procedures to Chapter 2 and amending existing, existing Rule 6.00. Chapter 2 will be amended to add Rule 2.45 which will allow our speaker to issue council procurement procedures for council members and employees to ensure cost savings, avoid conflicts of interest, and promote economic and equal employment opportunities in the procurement process. Consistent with New York City policy, this rule would apply to the procurement of goods, services, and construction by the council and paid for out of the city treasury or out of monies under the control or ass assessed or collected by the city. Chapter 6 will be amended to modify Rule 6.00 by removing the outdated requirement that papers be submitted to in quadruplicates. quadruplicates. <laughs> now that papers are submitted electronically rendering the rule obsolete. The resolution also recommends certain changes to Chapter 7 of the Rules of the Council, which governs committees. The pro proposed changes include altering the composition of the Committee on Immigration, which would be comprised of Chair Carlos Menchaca and Council Members Drum, Miller, Olden, and Eugene. The creation of a new standing committee, which would be titled the Committee on Resilience and Waterfronts. Council Member Brannon would step down as chair of the Committee on Contracts and chair this new standing committee. Council Member Ben Kalos would fill the contract chair vacancy and serve as chair of the Committee on Contracts. Finally, concerning Chapter 2, the Committee on Women would be retitled the Committee on Win Women and Gender Equity. The resolution also recommends modifications to Chapter 11 of the Rules of the Con Council, which governs land use and are set forth in the pre-considered res resolution distributed. And in front of us, we have changes to the committee's additions and changes. Now, I will open the floor to the public. Open it to the council members. Anybody have no comments? Okay. All right. Um, should I do the vote? Okay. Okay, we'll now take the vote. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on rules, privileges, and elections on preconsidered resolution. Chair Koslowitz. I vote aye. Matteo. No.
Gibson. Chin. Espinal. Permission to explain my vote. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Chair. Um, I'm voting aye on uh, all of these changes made to all the committees, uh, but obviously there, there's one change in here that has stirred up a lot of controversy over the past few weeks, and it's on behalf of uh, Common Yeager being moved to the Immigration Committee. Uh, I just want to say I've known Common for many years. He's a hard worker, someone who's very dedicated to his district, uh, someone who uh, I've known to be very serious and only really cares about working on behalf of all New Yorkers, uh, but there were some comments made uh, that uh, I found to be a little troublesome because of the fact that uh, of its potential to uh, stir up uh, a lot of division within our own city. And I think it's important uh, that we as, as council members uh, be very careful with what we say, uh, whether it be in, in private or in public like, tw like Twitter. Uh, but uh, with that said, again, he is someone that I know to be very dedicated to his district, to the city, uh, to work on behalf of all New Yorkers. Uh, but I vote aye on all these changes. Traeger. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you, Chair. I have known Kalman Yeager for many years and do not believe him to be a hateful person. While my colleague may have believed that his tweets were glib or idle, we have heard from many Palestinian New Yorkers about the hurt and harm his comments have caused them and their children. In 2019, we need to understand and appreciate that our words on social media constitute official communications and will be weighed as such. As a proud Jew, as someone whose parents fled their home in the Soviet Union because they were persecuted because they were Jews, as someone whose family suffered for their identity, as someone who knows the struggle of my people to find a homeland, I cannot accept comments that dispossess thousands of New Yorkers of their identity. There are those who will attempt to frame today's vote as a witness test of one's commitment to Israel and the Jewish people. There are those who will view my vote as a betrayal. I reject this binary. It is possible to embrace Israel without negating the identities of Palestinians or denigrating their desire for a homeland. It is possible to advocate for Israel without engaging in rancor or enmity and indeed, our coalition is strengthened when we exercise empathy and resist extremism. Ultimately, as elected officials, our legacies are defined by our impact, not our intentions. The impact of my colleagues' ill-considered comments has been clear. I respect the deliberations of the speaker's leadership team, and I vote yes. Adams. Permission to explain my vote? Yes. I too have known Kalman Yeager for a while and consider him a friend. However, when we took the oath as council members, we took that oath to protect not just our constituents, but to protect all New Yorkers. It is with a heavy heart that I too will vote aye on all because of the responsibility that comes with being a member of the New York City Council. I vote aye on all. So I vote of six in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. Okay, and we are going to hold this um, committee meeting open for 20 minutes. 